Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. And before we dig into today's video, make sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. This way you can stay updated with all the brand new videos we have coming out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down how to make money off of free camps. And I know the headline, the title of that, it sounds fake, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this and this is a very step-by-step -step process. And if you've watched any of our other YouTube videos, you know I talk a lot about email marketing, having systems in place, uh, making sure you get paid online. All right, let's dig in here. We're gonna go piece by piece here. We're gonna break this into three different steps. So step one is make sure the free camp that you put on, we need to have numbers at your camps. That means that you need, I would say between 15 to 25 kids. They show up at your free camp. Well, how are you going to get them to sign up? This is 100% about making sure you are organized and it's detailed. And this is what I do, very easy. You can go to Google Docs and create a Google form. And on that Google form, you make sure you collect the parent's name, phone number and email, and then the name of the child and maybe how old the child is, that's it. And in order for the parents to sign up, they have to sign up online. You don't wanna run a free camp and not know who the kid is, not know who the parents are when they get there. You need to know everything about the kid and about the parents. And you'll do that by collecting that form from them. And this way, when they do show up, you know exactly who they are. That to me is very powerful. Again, step one is creating a page, a registration page, very simple making sure that when parents sign up, you have their information. Okay, step two is right when they sign up, this is what I like to do, I will immediately text the parent and I'll say, hey, Mr. Jones, thanks so much for signing up. Do you have five minutes of time? I'd love to ask you a couple of questions before we have our free camp. And when I do that, parents will always respond and say yes. So what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna pick up the phone, I'm going to text them, they're gonna text me back, and from there, I'm going to call Mr. Jones. When I call Mr. Jones, I want to make sure that call is scheduled. I call him at the scheduled time. Then from there, I'm going to just simply say, I'm gonna say, hey, Mr. Jones, thanks so much for signing up for our camp. I really appreciate you registering. I can't wait to see, and then just, I'll just say Johnny. Can't wait to see Johnny there. I have a couple of questions. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions right now? And he'll say yes. And what I'll do is I'll say, well, what is the number one thing that Johnny needs help with? And what I want to do now is I wanna shut up and let Mr. Jones talk. I want him to explain to me what Johnny needs help with. And this way I can address whatever that thing is that Johnny needs help with when I actually do the camp. And I'm gonna do this with every single parent. I'm gonna spend five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna ask them that simple question. And then once we get off the phone, um, I'll say, all right, great. I can't wait to see you there. And if they wanna talk more and ask me questions about my program, great. Um, if they don't, no worries. All I'm doing though is I am setting up my camp. Now I know exactly what every single kid needs help with. And at that point, I can create my camp based on all of the problems that all of these kids struggle with. This way, when the camp is finished, those kids have addressed the problem that they need help with that the parents told me about. And I want you to think about that. If the parents are there watching the camp and you are working on the exact thing that their kid is struggling with, don't you think that parent is automatically going to be like, oh wow, this is awesome. Like We've never worked on this before, but now we're doing it here at this free camp, okay? And at the end of the session, what I like to do is I've already addressed the thing, the address the problem or the obstacle that these players are having. And what I'll do is I'll have all of the kids around me. At that point, what I'll do is I'll ask all the players, all the kids, I'll say, hey, go grab your parents real quick, bring, bring them back over to me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach your parents what you learned today. And you're gonna tell them the top three things that you learned each. And what will happen is they'll go grab their parents, they'll all come back and circle around me, and I'm not gonna give a presentation or talk. I'm just gonna say, you know, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate everyone's commitment level today. And what we're gonna do before we go is each player is going to teach the group what they learn. 
And then one by one, I'll call each kid's name, they'll come stand by me, and they will teach the parents the top three things that they learn. And I know one of those things will always be the problem that I know that the parent addressed with me over the phone. And here's why I do this though. It's because I don't want the parents to come around me with their kids and me have to sell anything. I don't want to do that. I want the kids to sell it for me and show the parents the immediate value of this free camp that they just came to. And what's going to happen is all the kids will do that one by one. And then the parents, you know the parents are going to be very proud of their kid for talking in public. Most kids hate doing that. And so that might be uncomfortable and I might have to help some kids out with that, but that's okay. And the parents at that point, they're like, wow, this is a really good camp. I wonder what it's going to be like if we're actually in Ben's program or actually in your program. And from there, I will simply close the camp and say, hey, if you want to stay after and chat with me about my program, great. If you don't, no worries. I really appreciate you for coming to this camp. I had a blast today. We're going to be doing things like this coming up. And if you're on our newsletter, you'll be able to see that. And what I'll do is I will just go stand off to the side and parents will always come and talk to me about my program. Those are the ones who are serious, that are committed. And if we just, if we just look at the numbers here, let's say there's 15 parents who sign up for a free camp with you. And out of those 15, there's two that want to step into your full program. And if you do things the way that I've instructed over the past couple years here on YouTube, you have a program set up to where they invest month after month and they're committed to six months or 12 months of your program. Let's just say on average, your program's $300 a month and you have two new clients who join your program. By offering a free camp and you got, if you get two clients who join, that's an extra $600 a month for the next six months by offering something for free and then on the back end, you would now have just earned $3,600 over the next six months. Now, let's just say you did that once a month. Let's say you have a free camp or clinic once a month and you constantly add two or three new members. If you did that for a year, okay, I'm gonna just keep it very simple. That means you'd have 24 clients who are paying $300 a month. That to me is very doable if you go through this video step by step and think about getting them registered, calling them, having the free camp, closing them, and then following up, okay? That to me is something a lot of coaches have taken over the last couple of years and they've, they've ran with it. There's a few coaches I've helped over the last couple of months who've been doing that. They've added so many new clients because they're gonna do one of those free camps like once every two or three weeks as a way of getting new prospects into the business. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this helped out. Again, try to run some of these free camps coming up. Try to go through everything that we talked about piece by piece, and I know it's gonna work for you. You just got to organize the camp and have everything set up the way we talked about, and I know you're gonna get great results. That's it for the video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll see you soon.